Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to rewrite a given quadratic trinomial or quadratic expression as a perfect square. So let's get started now. The very first thing is I want to make sure, go ahead and write down this, whatever this expression given to you, set it equal to zero. If you are asking why we did this thing, this is a nice kind of trick. We're going to be using it to make our job a lot easier. We are just pretending that this equal to zero. So the next step is I want you to make sure only x variables must be on the left hand side. That means this constant, this number eight must go on the other side. So that means we can write six x squared plus 7x equal to negative 8. That is the very first step. The next step is I want you to look at the leading coefficient of x square which is 6. You can see that one. I want you to on the left hand side factor this one out. If I factor 6 outside this among these two terms we're gonna get x square plus 7 over 6x, isn't it? If you distribute it, you're going to get the same thing. 6x squared plus 6 times 7 over 6 is going to give you 7x equals to negative 8. That is the very first thing you're supposed to do. Now you can see in this parentheses, our leading coefficient is 1. The next step is this one. I want you to look at the coefficient of x, which is 7 over 6. I want you to write down 7 over 6 somewhere here. I want you to, if you are dealing with a fraction, go ahead and multiply with 1 over 2. It's the same as you are dividing by 2. That is the very first step. So that is going to give you if you do this thing on the top, 7 times 1 is 7 divided by 6 times 2 is 12. And your last step is whatever you got this thing, you square this one. Okay, so this is the quantity that I am going to write down on the left hand side. I'm going to write it like this way. See, watch how I'm going to do this thing. 6 is still outside. You just put it there. I want you to write down x squared plus 7 over 6x plus and then whatever this quantity is you see this one over here you go ahead and write down 7 over 12 square since we added this quantity we are at the same time I'm going to subtract that quantity as well okay just make sure whatever you are adding you must subtract as well and then I want you to just everything is going to be written like this thing equals to on the right hand side we still have a negative 8. Now I want you to focus on this part the one that I'm going to circle it. This part. This represents a complete square. So we are going to use this well-known formula a plus b squared equals to a squared plus 2 times a b plus b squared. So we can apply that formula over here. So once again I'm going to write down 6 is still outside and then this thing is could be written as like with this formula I can write x plus 7 over 12 complete square. So far so good. And then this is what it is. Once again, let me just explain it to you. This x showed up right up here. This 7 over 12, the right hand side shows up over here. Whatever this sign that is in the middle. And then we have simply minus 7 over 12 if you square this thing that's going to give you negative 49 over 144 equal to negative 
8. So now next thing is I want you to go ahead and distribute this 6 with both terms over here. So if you multiply this one, that's going to give you 6 times x plus 7 over 12 squared minus you multiply 6 times 49 over 144 equals to negative 8. In the next step, go ahead and write down 6 times x plus 7 over 12 squared. And when you reduce this one, that is going to give us negative 49 over 24 equals to negative 8. Now, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to move this negative 8 on the left hand side. So we can write this as x times 6 times x plus 7 over 12 square minus 49 over 24. And when you move this negative 8 on the other side, become positive 8 equals to 0. Let's focus on this quantity over here, these fractions and the whole number. I just simply copied this stuff over here. Let me just make this 8 as a fraction by just putting 1 underneath and then we're going to add these two fractions by using a crisscross method. That is the easiest one. Go ahead and cross multiply negative 49 times 1 is going to be a negative 49. Then you put down whatever this sign plus and then 8 times of 24 is going to be 192 divided by 24 times 1 at the denominators multiply them out that's going to give you 24 let's simplify on the top that is going to give you 143 over 24 so thus we can write this thing over here as 6 times x plus 7 over 12 square and this turns out to be a plus 143 over 24 equal to 0. Then our last step is I want you to disregard this 0. We no longer needed it. So on only our we needed this part 6 times x plus 7 over 12 square plus 143 over 24. Thus 6x squared plus 7x plus 8 can be rewritten as, as a perfect square like you can see over here. And here is your assignment. Can you rewrite this given trinomial as a perfect square on your own? You can pause the video, you can take your time. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.